Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be talking about how to insert equations into a LaTeX document. Okay, so start off by having the usual document class and begin in, in the document. Uh, what, uh, there's quite a few ways of doing this, but uh, the, the best way, in my opinion, is to use this package called AMS Math. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and include this package in there, and then we're going to start off uh, doing the equations. Now, like I said, there are different ways of doing this. So some people write, like to use begin equation, but my personal preference is to use begin align. Okay, so uh, the good thing about begin align is that you can have uh, multiple multiple equations, uh, one after the other, and the, it takes care of the numbering. So, for example, we'll start off by saying y is equal to x plus uh, y is equal to x plus three. Okay, so just to show you what this does. So I'll build this and I'll show you the other stuff later. So it goes y equals x plus three. Uh, let me let me zoom in this quite a bit so that you can see. All right, so you can see, there you go. So you, y equals x plus three, and then you have the equation one. Um, now suppose I want to include more into this. So what you do is you have this double slash sign, and then you start writing your next equation. So um, so let's say y is equal to x plus 3 plus 2, or let's make this 2x, all right? So 2x plus 3 plus 2. All right, now I'm going to build this and then show it to you. Now, if you look at this, usually it's probably a good idea to align the equal signs together. Okay, so I'll center this. I hope you can. I hope you can all see. But the equal signs are a bit off. So to deal with that, what we what we need to do is put this ampersand sign. Put the ampersand sign and put the ampersand sign over here. Now this one tells you where to um, where to align. It. Okay, so now when I build it, both the equal signs are aligned. Now next stop. So. Okay, so now if you look at this, we have equation one and two. So if you look at this, you can obviously, uh, uh, you can, what do you call, simplify this equation, the second equation. And so it's probably a good idea that you don't want a number there. So if you don't want a number there, type in slash no number. Okay, so just put an extra number that you don't want. And then we can, what we're going to do is say an equal to 2x plus 5. Okay, so now once I build this, okay, so there you go. So it goes 2x plus 5. But the good thing this time is that we only have two equations rather than three. If I didn't put that no number thing, I would have ended up with 1, 2, and 3. Okay, now um, I'll show you a bit of a neat trick, which is really, really useful when you're writing big documents like, I don't know, a thesis or, uh, or, or even a paper. Uh, like what, what you'd usually have is have sections in there, right? So I'll say section uh, section one, I want it to be, uh, uh, say, introduction, okay? And then uh, section two, I will have, uh, what, what will I do? I will have uh, previous work. Okay, so anyway, this is not too important. Um, so now, uh, the thing is, now it's probably a good idea to have this, have the equations numbered as, in section one, I would want it to have 1.1 rather than one. So right now it's showing one. And to do that, I'm just gonna copy this command that I had uh, from my own paper. So what you do is you go number within, so I'm sorry, I'll just paste it so that you can see. Um, so you write slash number within, equation, and then section, all right? So now the numbering will start off by sections. Uh, and then I'll just insert another equation over here. Uh, begin a line, uh, y is equal to 300, okay? All right, so now when I build this, So there you go, you have 2.1, 2.1, and then in section one, it's 1.1, 1.2. Okay, so there you go. Um, all right, so if you have any questions uh, regarding this, just let me know. Uh, but uh, as for putting equations in LaTeX, that's about it. 
Uh, just remember to put your double double slash to go to new line and put the end and that's really the only thing that uh, that's important with the equations. Uh, thanks for listening.